Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my AJ Play, some more PJ Tour 2K23. It's Monday, so it means we are doing our challenge circuit walkthrough or preview, however you want to look at it. This week you are playing the Storming Norman Desert Challenge at Pippidini Dunes by Raw Data 57. This is a 72 par course with four pins, blue and white tees, blue tees playing 7,000 yards, white tees playing 6,700 yards. The default conditions are firm, firm, medium, fast, and overcast. But let's see what TGC tours have set up for you in round one. So you're going to be playing from the blue tees, the longer tees. You're going to be playing pin set one as always. Winds is set to low, wind direction is default, fair is default, green firmness is soft, so it's nice soft greens, green speed default, and time of day default. So there we go. So fair is firm, greens are soft today, green speed is medium fast. So just to check your conditions in for you if you want to dial in your conditions this week. Let's get in there. I'm not familiar with Pippidini Dunes, but let's get this underway. So guys, when you last left me um, last week, I was experimenting with Powerhouse over the weekend. That experiment ended abruptly. It was an absolute car crash. <laughs> I could not play on Powerhouse. So I'm back on my Rhythm Golfer. And let's see if we can feel the rhythm, feel the ride. Let's get this underway. I have changed a few of my fittings. So I've still got a relatively long driver, 298 as its stock, um, as my fittings kick in it does get up to 307 but this should be a straightforward drive down the middle of this fairway for you nice big fairway it's gonna canter left to right here and that should be good looks like we're gonna have awkward fitting footing footing this week so it's a powerful first 116 in if you've got a 300 yard driver i have a 112 i think is that going to get there? I think so. A touch of D-loft and a touch of spin. Everything's going right to left at my feet. We'll hit the slide fast and that should be all over this pin. Good. That's a glorious shot in. Oh, there, and that is why I prefer rhythm. Nice yes, the powerhouse in. gave me a bit of extra length on my clubs. But to be fair, I've swapped back to rhythm and, and I've managed to keep quite a lot of the distances so I will show you my Let's clubs at the, the minute on this drive the second is a par four 400 yards so I've got a 300 yard driver 263 wood so I think I was playing 300 and 268 anyway my 238 hybrid 228 223 iron bit of a gap there then of 20 yards between that and my five iron then it's 10 yards all the way down to my pitching wedge and then there's 15 yards pretty much or 18 yards between those clubs and I've got my 97 back in because I missed it so the short par three lots of danger on the left and short I'm going to try and take it down this gully could kick right here but let's have a look beautiful drive also been trying to play around with fixing um one of my subs Mike who's a great designer suggested that I probably got some swing drift you know I was getting 94 percent um on my swings so I have pretty much been fiddling around with my controller and I think I've got it sorted. Although that was 94%. That's okay. Kick in. Never birdie opportunity at two. So I have been playing around with my controller. Could be a good one. I'm just trying to clean nice, it and nice stuff. I will That's reset it if it gets too bad. And pulled up the right stick as well. And just okay. try to reset now it that way. So it seems to be okay so far, but we'll see how it goes. This one's a par four hole. So the third, a par four, another short par four. So there's a nice landing area down here, which will leave you a nice shot in. So simple enough drive to this landing area for you. Gives you a nice angle up into the green. Second shot on the third. 67 pitch again. So I'm going to loft this slightly. Bit of spin. Hit this a little bit fast because I was going aiming a bit far right there. I noticed at the last minute. And that's all over the pin again. This one's a three foot putt. So 
nice easy opening for you. Literally 100 yards in on the first, and the next two you're only pitching wedges in 50 and 60 yards. That's if you have a 300 yard driver. Obviously, if you've got a shorter driver, you're still only going to be that within 100 yards on each of them. So, par five up next. Risk here. So, I'm going to try and carry this bunker. I could counter into that bunker up there. I'm going to try and take on this corner. And I should carry that bunker and hopefully stop short of the next. Got a nice kick to the right there, which is going to give me a better angle into this green. So that was a fortunate little kick. 228, so my 238 I don't think quite gets there. 260 is going to be way long. I don't mind. I don't particularly want to be long here and chipping back because you see all the green runs off. I'd rather be short and chip up, to be fair. But let's loft this up and see if we can get it, get it up there. Try to overpower it slightly. I don't think it's going to kick up this front. This is quite an aggressive front. Probably going to just sit down on it. Yeah. Not bad, though. Okay, Not a bad effort. Third shot. My new hybrid in the bag. So, little chip here. I'm not going to put any... Any loft or spin on it. I've been doing that of late, and I've been chipping a bit better. This one is for the birdie. So, another birdie opportunity. Those of you who like to set up your bag for the course... Oh, no. <laughs> that is a shocking miss. That is a shocking miss. A horrible lip out there. And that is really a par 5, which you should be eagling or birdieing. So a drop shot there for me on that one. Um, just took... I was chatting away and took my eye off that final shot. It's a 187, I think, might kick up there. Silky swing. Little slow, so that's going to stay out right. And that's not going to kick on now. Would have kicked on if I was dead center. But I am on the fringe. Do I want to put this? I think I do. I think I want to put it. I'm just better at putting than I am at chipping. Chip could go anywhere. Hopefully this putt is online. Yeah, that's a good putt. Okay, so a long par three there for you guys after the nice easy opening. Really, you should be four under for five um, on that one. You see the top dogs will be birdieing and eagling all the way. But I made a mistake on that par five and now you've got a drivable par four. I'll take a little bit off this if I can. I'm gonna go straight at it. I tend to hit my driver a bit fast. Oh, that's way too fast. But that could work in my favor because that'll take some yardage off. And this should canter up. I think it's going to stay left, though. Yeah, it nice didn't done. quite reach the green there. Here's that was just shot on this sixth hole. me flicking my wrist a little bit too hard there. But we haven't a chip in for an eagle. And then again, there's probably two eagle opportunities in those opening six holes, up. guys. So... See if I can Looking actually tap in the birdie putt this time than like the last time where I somehow managed to lip out. So yeah, I think you can be you could easily be sitting at six through six there. They're quite short holes at the minute. Other than that one long par three. So I think it's gonna be a low scoring week, guys. The winds obviously won't stay this low. You can see patch drives at sixteen through fourteen. I think her 14 through 15, fine wine 13 through 14, all top players. And teeing up now on the seventh. The seventh then, 137 yard, up 27 feet. So playing one four, well, 143 is pretty spot on. A touch of D loft and a touch of spin, just to make sure he gets up that hill. Oh, that push is going to stay me way left. Ooh, I felt my hand just get all sweaty there and push me off. Would have been the perfect yardage if I could have hit the damn thing straight. But sadly, my um, controller went for a wander. As I said, I did pull it up and spin it around quite a bit to try and reset the... the sticks. So they're a little bit loosey-goosey. I hope I blasted that too hard. No, that's a good read. And that's a good putt after that little mistake on approach there on the third. On the third, on the seventh, par three. 
a par 4 and par 5 to close out this front nine. I think this week you want to be looking at 5, 6 or 7 under in this front nine minimum really to be challenging in probably A all the way down to E. There's good players in all those divisions. And this feels like a scorable course. Here we go. Let's see what happens here on the eighth. Another short par four. Ooh, do I want to be in this? Do I want to be in the, the choices here is in that gap or laying up here and taking a wedge in? There are your two choices. I'm going to go for this gap and leave a flop in. Hope that I can find this gap, which I should be able to. And I do. I'm just going to leave a flop okay. in. Mm. A little bit long on my flop, so it's gonna go long, but that's not too bad. Bit of spin on it. All right, this putt for sitting down. I chose to flop there, left myself an awkward putt though. So there is probably better places you can leave that on that green. If you leave that any right side of the hole, you've got a straight putt just up a hill. Putting it on this left side of the hole is just. Well, just an error. And try and make this putt. Yeah, and we do. It just catches our right edge. And there's another short par four. So are we going to have a long par five to close out this front line? I reckon okay. he will. He's throwing a long par three. Clocking we'll see. In at six under par. I didn't expect this to be over 600 yards. Teeing this one up on the ninth now. 568, 30 uphill. Not too long. So that's 101 perfect. Long may that drive and continue. It's nice having my rhythm player back. Okay, setting up around 250 yards or so. I'm gonna put the 260 on this and just hit it straight up. Maybe a bit of loft actually. Oh, 96% power is gonna kill me. That is, it. but it could actually work out. If I hit that full power, I was in a glorious place there. 96%. Cup, even 98% would have been beautiful. But we have an eagle shot. Can't complain too much. Just got to get the read on this. They're 160 greens. I don't think I've mentioned that yet. I've been putting away. Really oh, good. that's a glorious putt. Oh, and I'm obviously, guys, that's one of the reasons why I swapped back from the power archetype. My putting changed. And I was just an absolute shambles, and I wasn't close enough to the pin either, which is what I hope by having a longer okay, distances. Is because my obviously my timing and my swing plane was off, so it was a very brief, brief flirtation with the powerhouse back to what I like. Patch drives at 19 through 17. That's just ridiculous scoring, my friend. Here we go, par four in front of us. And this is a massive downhill par four. So I think you're okay aiming for this middle of the fairway here. It should camber on down, but I don't think you're going to run out of fairway. No, that's nice. Left you on a bit of a hill. This one's about 140 yards or so to the 140 pin. down. 133. I feel it's going to be good with a bit of loft and a bit of spin to get this to sit down quickly. No wind. So as long as you hit this true, you should be okay. But that fast is going to take me left. It should spin towards the hole from there. Okay, we're on the green. And we have All another right, putt birdie and get out of here for another see. birdie. And we so far have been alright with this reading of these greens, so see if we can get another one. Oh, I think that might overturn. There. Yeah, I felt myself push that. No, I see the push at the top. A little bit, a little bit too hard on that one. Didn't feel like I'd given that enough. Yeah, that yours, but I don't like to change my mind these hard. days when I'm putting. So we are 8 under through 10. I'll take that. Eight under front nine is good. If we can get another one of them in the back nine, we'll be sitting pretty. Yeah, some good, some good players up there scoring. And teeing up now on the eleventh. Don't get me wrong, guys. Any of this, any of that type of score, nineteen twenty under on master swing difficulty is just impressive, really. So your options here: I either lost the one five five on this one forty six yarder, or I de loft my pitching wedge. I think I'm gonna go for the de lofted pitching wedge. That fast is going to take me way left, left and long again. And not quite dialed in yet in this back nine. 
leaving myself a couple of tricky shots on the last two holes after a pretty solid front again got to get the bead on this on this putt and it should move towards the pin now oh. and for the par I'm quite surprised that didn't dip in there guys look at it it's all moving that way this one's tracking I'm quite surprised that didn't dip in I felt like I had the good read on that so we've just gone a little bit quiet too tricky opening holes so let's see what the par Eight under par currently for 12 has to bring eight under through 11. Lil John's game in is 15 through 18. Fine wine 17. Captain Kirk 17. We can't hit those numbers now after the last two, but we do have an interest in. So I'm going to lay up here on this one. I don't want to bring the stream into play. And this is only going to leave me a wedge in. Probably a pitch, to be fair. We'll see. It's a pitch. 82 yards. Loft and spin. Watching the world number one, he says he doesn't like to hit a pitch that is um, over 88 okay, yards, and I don't do blame him, feet. and I'm the same. That's why I have a gap wedge at 97 yards in my bag. It's getting there. I should turn in. Nice putt. That's for I think 88 is where you want to go. I have a 67, 77, 8, 88 yard pitch, then I go up to my full length gap wedge at 97. Okay, it seems to be the perfect score. setup for me. I've always played that way as well. Long before the world number one showed his hand this week. Check him out, guys. Saint Stives. Or just Stives. I don't know why I call him Saint Stives. Maybe he should be a saint the way he's been playing this year. So I don't think you clear this if that's uphill. It's a risky shot down there. I'm going to try and make this little gully on this right-hand side. Now that fast is going to put me in all sorts of trouble. Unless it bounces over. Oh, <laughs> I was lucky, guys. I was lucky to make the light rough there. My caddy's gone a bit doolally and given me a weird club. I'm going to have to hit the 166 with a bit of loft. And go at this pin. I stayed left a bit. and I came out way better than I was expecting from there, really. I had 92% lie, so I was expecting to take at least 10 yards off that shot. So it's going to be another par, and we are. One, nice this back nine's just a little bit tricky than that front nine, just not quite and dialed in. They're still pretty par. short holes, to be fair. But we're nine under through thirteen. We'll take that. And here comes hole number four. I said twelve under. You're going to be competing, probably at the top of the league if you do twelve under around six under and nine. Now this is. I'm going to take a little bit off this. This is a par five, but I want to make sure I land on this fairway. Oh, a little a bit swing. off. Fine swing. Should clear that bunker. I should just kick out. Now, have I taken? Ooh, Nelly! Oh. Up I took yards the out. exact amount off that needed to be taken off. That was lucky. We're just going to hit the 197 here. Going to be short, but I don't mind being short. I'd rather the putt up. If you go long, All you're right, going to get an awkward done. putt. On the green with a long putt so I've got a long putt here. here but your eagle I'm just going to have a go at this little eagle. It's a slow left to right break. I think the line, given the distance, given the 46 feet, the, the, the line feels right. It should just slowly camber left to right. It's going to overturn slightly, so just outside the line was to play there. All right, ten under par. Not a bad effort. Yes. Looking back, it looks like there was way more turn than I saw. So, once again, not quite got a bead on these greens. Okay, nicely done. That putt will drop on in there for... But we get the birdie. Missed eagle opportunity there. Back nine certainly feels like it's playing a little tougher than the front. Well, that might just be me just not quite being dialed in. Strife ended at 21 under through 18, which is just ridiculous. I think 17 to 17 is some solid shooting. Fine wine is top player. The top Here 50 comes player in the world. Bordeaux. Ah, I don't think you clear that. So I'm going to hit my three wood down between these two bunkers. Should leave me a pitch in. That'll do. 
nice to have a shorter course yeah, where you're actually taking three wood off the tee, not just blasting everything. I am not hitting that there though, you Looney Tunes. No, I can loft this up, and if I'm long, I should come back down. That feels good. That feels really good. Well, this one might be that going long should off. come down that hill and straight towards the hole. All Didn't right, come down right. as much as aggressively as I thought. Six foot putt here. But it was a good shot. This putt's good so far. And a nice simple tap so, in. The backstop so there really good. helps you out. Oh, so again, guys, using a three wood off the off the tee isn't a bad opportunity on some of these holes. Depending on what the length of your driver is. If obviously if you've got a two sixty to two eighty driver, use that. Obviously I've got a two sixty three wood, so your highness is in at minus sixteen through eighteen. I've seen him at the top leaderboards for a while, Highness, so it's nice to see. 187, 184. I'm going to hit this straight up with a little bit of loft and a little bit of spin. That felt good. That felt really good. It's just got to sit, though. 98% mm, still took that a bit long. Didn't hit this one, but that's okay. On the fairway. I wish this was... I really wish this was on the that green, but I'm just going to go at it. Oh, terrible. I'm so bad at chipping. Coming through with the chip. Just can't get the tempo on them. And that's a shame. Safely in its home. That and probably that needed a 180 under. club there. 187 was way too long. 11 under through 16. Let's see if we can birdie the last two. Finish at 13 under. I'll take that. As I said, this is a scoreable course, guys. As you can see, I'm tied 72 at 11 under. So people have gone out and played this. I can clear this water. This is a risky shot. I'm going to try and land in between these two bunkers. And I have. Didn't want to fast that there. I would have been in that bunker in no man's land. Yards from the pin. Now we have a nice 100 yard shot in. Do I play 100 yards? Mm, seven. It's playing 111. I'm kind of betwixt between here. Don't like playing a 113. I'm gonna, mm, I'm gonna loft the 119. This feels risky. Hopefully this sits down. Yeah, it's not bad. Really well judged approach. There. It's not bad. Shame my you could go to 12 skills have kicked in really there. Could have done with my normal clubs. I should turn in. And it does. And we're at the 12 under, as I say. That's the competitive the competitive side. We've got a par 5 finish. Let's see if we can't birdie or eagle this par 5. Let's see how long it is first. going to be a gr bunch of people grouped up on 12 under guys tied 47th 550 yard par 5 finisher straightforward fairway to find straight down the middle no qualms with that and then it's uphill to this final green i'm gonna hit my 238 up straight That slight slow is going to keep me out right, sadly. I was hoping for a fast there, but it's going to be a good shot. Hopefully it kicks left from here. It runs around. That's a good shot. Yep, that's we have an eagle opportunity. Here's a putt to go down to 14 under par. To make a 14. But this is just how much of this break it takes. I've been misreading these breaks quite a lot. Now it's got to stop turning. Oh, glorious putt to finish. That is 14 and uh, finish the front nine and the back nine with Eagles. That's the symmetry Matty J likes. And there we go, guys. I think a pretty straightforward first round in TGC CC this week should be shooting probably double digits if you're in those top leagues. 14 under only gets me T12, not even in the top 10 with that. And this is early in the week as well, guys. There's a lot more players still to play. But there we go. First round done for you. 
that is a challenge circuit this week nice course relatively short big big scores out there to be had go get them peace out catch you soon